we started off today with coffees and also I don't think I said Goeiemorgen yet so Goeiemorgen, today is Friday what are you laughing at? Goeiemorgen we're going to Teufelsberg today which has probably been my number one on my Berlin highlight wish list for months now so we're finally going it's gonna be freezing cold so I don't think we'll be there for like five hours but I'm very excited some food, some snacks, some bread, some juice, because probably around where we're going there won't be any food. You have another shot of me using my phone. He's always using his phone. Always on the phone. <laughs> he's my travel guide, so he's looking up everything. We're now at the closest metro stop and we have to do quite a walk before we're there. So I got my gloves, I got my scarf. Jump into the heat. We just went to the Teufelsberg, 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 um, aka Devil's Mountain. It's a legal urbexing spot, urban exploring spot. If you want to know how it was and what we did and what it looked like, I'm making this into an extra video because otherwise this week vlog is going to be insanely long. So if you want to see that, it's going to be an extra video. I'm not sure if it is already online or will be online, but Sounds I will link it. Music. But I will link it. And subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Yeah, it was pretty fucking beautiful. Did you like it? Yes, it was just as beautiful as you are. Ah, how cute is he? I feel you. Make me lose control. We'll be walking on the water. We took the metro train and now we're gonna go to a cafe. We're gonna have some warm drinks and then we're gonna have dinner because it was so cold. I think we're both in need of either coffee or tea. That's how I know you. Tonight we're eating Indian. We're in an Indian restaurant. Yurian has got a starter. He's having baras. I didn't get a starter because I think my main dish is going to be pretty big. And because Yurian was sick, he didn't have beer for a long time. But now we have beer again. That's how I know you. I'll never change. I've got a tea. This over here is looking amazing. This is my dish. <laughs> this is Yurian's dish. I think it's better the other way around. <laughs> I just like to be a bit of a minimalist. <laughs> we just had our Indian food and we went back to the hotel. The food was pretty good, but it was so weird that my dish was huge and Yurian's dish was tiny. So he helped me eat my food. I'm alone in the hotel room right now because he's going to the night shop. He's gonna get himself a beer. Um, some soda, I think a snack, some sandwich spread for tomorrow. We're not allowed to eat in the hotel room, but we're having our breakfast here because if we eat out for breakfast, for lunch and for dinner, it's a very expensive trip. So we try and eat at least one meal here at the hotel room, just bread with some spreads. I have been addicted to Instagram Direct because it's so fun to share the pictures of my trip. It kind of makes no sense saying this because you're only up there for 24 hours. But if you want to see me post stuff on Instagram Direct the next trip, then you should follow me on Instagram. Shameless self-promotion. I used to try and have a perfect Instagram feed. Having the colors match and lots of white and I don't know. It was a slight obsession of mine to get it as perfect as I could. 
And I do love how aesthetically pleasing this looks, but it was driving me crazy. Instead of posting stuff on Instagram, I was thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it a bit more, rearranging the pictures, re-editing pictures, and I took the fun out of it. So then on New Year's Eve, I decided I'm going to quit this perfect feed. I'm just going to post whatever the hell I feel like. And I like that a lot more. It's just more chill and I like chill, guys. Who doesn't like chill? Hey, Martha. Hey, Martha. Today is Saturday. Yay! We just got some bread to eat on the train ride. I want the one with the sunflower seeds. Yeah. Yeah. We're in a train to Oranienburg. Is that right? That's right. It's a city above Berlin in the north. And we wanted to catch a bus that goes once every two hours. But as you can see, this train is not really going anywhere. Something with police and the train not being allowed to ride on. And I did hear his mustache. <laughs> he looks fancy. We just spent like five hours. Yeah, four or five hours, something like that. In a former Nazi concentration camp. And I found it more respectful not to vlog there, so I didn't. But I did film some, like, scenery. Some general pictures. Yeah, some general pictures for you guys, so you guys have an, an image. Look at your fancy coffee. I know, right? I like Super fancy. I like fancy. On our way to the coffee place, we saw a restaurant that sold vegan waffles. But I'm not sure if it's still open because it's quite late now. And it looked like a lunch place. Yeah, it looks like it's still open. Woo! It's about 15 minutes before this place closes, but we can still order wa waffles. Wait, what, what's it, what is it called? Waffles? Waffles. Yurin has got warm chocolate milk with chili powder and whipped cream. Vegan, of course. Spicy always. hot chocolate. I've never had a spicy hot chocolate ever in my life. This would be the first time because I'm going to try a little sip from you. Are you not? Yeah, I am. If I let you. It's really weird, but really nice. It's actually spicy. Here we've got vegan waffles with chocolate sauce and sugar. And look at this, guys. This is insane. I have caramel sauce, vegan whipped cream, vegan walnuts, cacao, and banana. Holy, holy, holy crap. This looks so good. Just wait until you get to the next place. I'll have the better one. We'll see. I have the last sweet potato fry, fries they have, so you can't have them. I didn't even want to order fries. Yes, you do. We're such foodies, we're always eating. But we were gonna get burgers after this. Burgers and sweet potato fries. But there's no way I'm eating sweet potato fries. I just had this whole mountain of whipped cream. So. No, I'm just gonna have a burger. Just so you know, that if you don't order sweet potato fries, yeah. you're not gonna steal mine. You're such a loving boyfriend, willing to share everything, but not your food. <laughs> Admittedly, I wasn't too excited to go eat burgers, because I'm not in a burger mood lately. You know when you've got the kind of foods that you sometimes crave and sometimes you really don't crave them? I wasn't craving burgers at all. Like burgers, I always crave burgers. <laughs> <laughs> but I was really pleasantly surprised. The sweet potato fries were absolutely amazing. And as he predicted, I didn't order them, he did and I ate half of his. And I ate a salad with vegan feta cheese. I have never had it and it was so good and everything was homemade and it was just overall really pleasant. We're gonna go for one drink. We've been planning to go for drinks or go out a bit, 
the last couple of days and the first night he was like nah let's take it easy because he was a bit sick and the last couple of nights I was like eh let's, let's take it easy, easy. <laughs> so now we're actually going for a drink we just walked past this window of this kid store I have two stuffed pigs and pigs have always been one of my favorite animals and they've got such a cute pig in the window look oh adorable a little piglet you're in do you need something for my birthday okay <laughs> thanks for letting me know for next year and um, besides a pig in the window there's also a pig in front of the window. <laughs> now, oink like a pig. We're gonna have a drink at Scotch and Sofa and I picked it by the name in the hope they had sofas to chill on. And they seem to do have that. To do have that. They seem to have that. They've got scotch. I see a sofa. He's seeing scotch. I'm not gonna drink scotch. Even when we go out, I drink tea. Tea for life. After all this food, all these waffles, all these snacks, all these burgers, we're still in the supermarket looking for snacks. What's wrong with us? Nothing. He's decided, but I can't decide. Am I going for onion rings? Am I going for pretzels? Am I going for palm bears? And then it, will I go for normal ones or ketchup ones? <laughs> I don't know what to get. I could also get Skittles, because someone just left a bag of Skittles here and I was like, hmm, Skittles, because they're vegan. Often when I cannot decide, I either take everything or nothing. Just making a decision seems to be troublesome for me. I'm making the probably regrettable unhealthy choice of Skittles and pretzels. What do you think? Too much? You can also always save some for later. Yeah, and I'm so great at saving some for later. <laughs> and then a drink. Goedemorgen. Today is Sunday and very Berlinish. We're gonna go for brunch at, what is it, 12 o'clock? We wanted to eat here at Fox. And we've been there before and their cake and their waffles, they were really good. Um, and I heard they had brunch as well. And I also heard it was popular. So they opened at 12 and we were here four minutes past 12 and their brunch was already full. <laughs> so where are we gonna go now? I don't know, let's find out. I'm okay with having a cake there, but Jurian wants like actual proper breakfast, which I understand. Because cake isn't breakfast, unless you want it to be. We're driving past my old, old house here in Berlin. That's my old house. I did live at many spots in Berlin, uh, but this was the house I lived at the longest. So I do see that as my actual house, I guess. Second try. This seems to be a bigger success. Yes. We haven't had the food yet, but at least they're open and I've got vegan breakfast. And we can sit down. We can sit down. And the food that we've seen coming past looks quite okay. It looked pretty good. Or we can look to the mountains. <laughs> Our breakfast was amazing. So good. Maybe it's good that I don't live here anymore. Otherwise, all I would do ever is eat, 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 and eat more stuff. And we're now going to Romer's, which is right here, but it looks very busy. So I wonder if we can get a spot. That was way, 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 way too busy. Uh, he knows another coffee spot nearby. So we're gonna go there. This coffee place looks a little less crowded.
We've not really done much today. Some breakfast places, some coffee places, and now we're gonna go for dinner. We're gonna meet Wolf and his girlfriend. I haven't seen them in ages. Hey guys! <laughs> Yay! Seemingly my new specialty is to forget to end the vlog. I didn't end this one. Thank you guys for watching. There's gonna be another Berlin vlog up soon and there's also gonna be another extra video from Berlin. I hope you guys enjoyed. Big hug now from the Netherlands. <laughs> Slash a little bit from Berlin as well. Bye!